Hello, my name is Megan Tortza, and I'm an architect, urban designer, and partner at DTAH. The following presentation is a summary review of the Urban Design Master Plan, or UDMP, for the Baker District redevelopment in Guelph, Ontario. This summary includes highlights from the Urban Design Master Plan document. The complete Urban Design Master Plan is available for download on the City of Guelph's website. The Urban Design Master Plan seeks to summarize the urban design ambition and details of the Baker District redevelopment, sufficient to articulate how the elements of the public and private realm will work together to create a development of high quality that fits well into its context. The plan's contents are developed in partnership with the City of Guelph in order for the urban design elements of the development to be evaluated with the ambition to ensure new developments have examined opportunities and constraints of the site and provide design solutions that are context sensitive and respond to urban design policy context. The urban design master plan process for the Baker District redevelopment includes a significant public consultation program, allowing for multiple engagement opportunities and for the development team and key stakeholders to engage with the public. The Urban Design Master Plan is organized with an introduction and four subsequent parts or chapters that outline the various characteristics of the site and proposed redevelopment. These parts include Part 1, wherein the site's physical context, policy context, and urban design principles for the redevelopment are summarized. Part 2, wherein the Urban Design Master Plan, including the integration of the public realm and sustainable urban design policies, are summarized. Part three, wherein preliminary development yields or statistics are summarized. And part four, wherein notes on phasing and implementation are summarized. An introduction to the Urban Design Master Plan is also contained within the report, where the vision, process, and consulting team for the Baker District redevelopment are summarized. With respect to the vision for the Baker District redeve redevelopment, the objective is to transform the existing municipal parking lot into a compact district nestled in the city's historic core and anchored by a new central library and two new urban squares. The development team, led by Windmill Developments and the City of Guelph, held three public engagement events leading up to the creation of the first Baker District UDMP, presented last June 2020. Since then, the design has evolved significantly to reflect a revised project boundary and a rethink on how the various uses on the property might be organized. Since Council approval to move ahead with this alternative approach to the site, the windmill team have been working on revising the design. While different, we believe the revised Baker District Urban Design Master Plan captures the ambition and spirit of the original UDMP. The materials now posted on the city's website, including the UDMP, represent the voices we have heard over the past three and a half years. The team contributing to the Urban Design Master Plan includes the following. The development partner, Windmill Development Group, the design team, including Diamond Schmidt Architects and DTAH, engineering consultants, including RJC, providing structural engineering, Smith & Anderson, providing mechanical and electrical engineering, RWDI, providing microclimate engineering, Stantec Consulting, providing civil engineering, and WSP, providing transportation engineering services. The sustainability consultants are Urban Equation Corporation, the planning consultants are Urban Strategies and GSP Group. The construction manager is Maluel Blaney. And now I will move into an overview of part one of the Urban Design Master Plan. The Baker District redevelopment is located on a large irregular block bounded by Chapel Lane to the south, Park Lane to the immediate east, Wyndham Street North to the northeast, and Baker Street to the west, in the northern part of downtown Guelph. The Baker District redevelopment site, known as the site throughout the UDMP, comprises the city-owned Baker Street and Wyndham Street parking lots. 
The site's history is extensive and includes indigenous occupation, as well as its uses as a public burial ground, an industrial site where sewing machines were manufactured, a lawn bowling club, curling club, and most recently as a parking lot. A total of five archaeological investigations have been undertaken in and around the Baker District redevelopment site in the last two decades. The site today is relatively flat and without significant existing landscape. The bedrock is between five and eight and a half meters below grade, and some soil contaminants exist and will be removed at the time of excavation. The site is flanked by heritage buildings, including the designated Dominion Public Building at 138 Wyndham Street North, and several churches and other buildings on the Municipal Heritage Register. Part of the analysis of the site's physical context is understanding the existing pedestrian network in and around the site and considering how to, the redevelopment will contribute to this network. The proposed site plan has been designed to integrate well with existing pedestrian patterns in the downtown. The plan has evolved to include three separate buildings to enhance the porosity of the site and to encourage connections to the surrounding streets. These buildings also frame the extension of Park Lane running through the site and the two new urban squares, one fronting onto Wyndham Street North and the other internal to the block adjacent to the new public library. The existing street network is improved by the reconstruction of Baker Street, Chapel Lane, and parts of Park Lane immediately adjacent to the Baker District. These streets, designed to promote active transportation and pedestrian comfort, improve overall access to the Baker District. The new urban square fronting Wyndham Street North will add to the existing network of urban parks in the downtown. Complementing Market Square at City Hall, as well as St. George's Square, while also defining a new northern gateway to downtown Guelph. The new urban square adjacent to the library will support expanded outdoor library programming while providing a quiet, peaceful landscape court. Another important consideration in regards to the site's existing context are the various existing and proposed views framed and supported by the redevelopment. Views that are important within the development include views to the new library from Quebec Street and St. George's Square, and views into the northern urban square from Wyndham Street. The view corridor to the Basilica of Our Lady Immaculate from Aramosa Road will be maintained and significantly influenced the form and massing of the development's buildings. With respect to the policy context of our work, the Baker District redevelopment will be guided by the City of Guelph's applicable policy and guidelines, including the Official Plan, Downtown Guelph Secondary Plan, Urban Design Manual, and Downtown Streetscape Manual and Built Form Standards. The vision, principles, and objectives of the Downtown Guelph Secondary Plan are upheld and reinforced by the 12 urban design principles outlined in the Urban Design Master Plan. One, to create a welcoming, comfortable, publicly accessible, and inclusive urban district. Two, to demonstrate design and environmental excellence. Three, to create a mix of uses that benefit the community. Four, to provide housing that is affordable. Five, to provide a vibrant, safe, programmable public square on Wyndham Street North. Six, to provide pedestrian circulation and porosity. Seven, to reconnect to the river. Eight, to make connections to the arts and indigenous communities. Nine, to protect views and create view opportunities. 10, to have material compatibility with the historic fabric of downtown Guelph. 11, to demonstrate best practices in multimodal transportation and parking integration. And 12, to design for a comfortable microclimate. Further detail on how each of these principles apply to the Baker District redevelopment is contained within the Urban Design Master Plan. 
So moving on to part two of the UDMP, the master plan for the Baker District redevelopment responds to the urban design principles as set out in part one. As stated previously, the master plan anticipates the development of three new buildings as part of the Baker District, along with improved roadways flanking the site and two new urban squares, the Wyndham Urban Square and the Library Urban Square. In addition, Baker Court provides access to the site from Baker Street and connects to Park Lane to the north and to the residential underground parking garage at the northern end of the site. Contained within the UDMP are representations of the Baker District redevelopment at a variety of levels of detail, ranging from simple massing models to more detailed plans. Currently in the schematic design phase of development, the design of the Baker District continues to evolve and therefore the content contained within the UDMP represents the project team's design intent with respect to the buildings and landscapes to be built as part of the redevelopment. As the final details are not yet known, precedent images are used to demonstrate design intent. The landscape and public realm concept for the Baker District redevelopment prioritizes pedestrian porosity and the development of publicly accessible open spaces that are flexible to accommodate a range of uses throughout the year. Incorporating a series of new publicly accessible open spaces, the landscape concept situates the new buildings within a ground plane of pavers, plantings, seating and art. Inspired by districts such as the Distillery District in Toronto, a material-rich ground plane runs uninterrupted between buildings, and pedestrian amenities such as seating, lighting, planting, and public art are all coordinated within a simple palette of materials and details. To support the redevelopment, Baker Street will be converted to a two-lane, two-way, flexible street not unlike Wilson Street in downtown Guelph. It is assumed to be approximately 18 meters in width with parking on either side and incorporating street trees and an expanded public realm. Chapel Lane is also transformed concurrent with the Baker District redevelopment into a flexible street, providing vehicular access to the underground ramp, the Baker District's public underground parking structure located beneath the library. Wyndham Street North is also anticipated to be improved as part, of, as per the Downtown Streetscape Manual, to include a narrowing of asphalt width, a reconfiguration of on-street parking, improved plantings and the like. Contained within the Urban Design Master Plan are preliminary sections for Baker Street, Baker Court and Chapel Lane, illustrating how these spaces will evolve to increase pedestrian comfort, the urban tree canopy and improve street functionality surrounding the Baker District. The principal open space within the Baker District redevelopment is the Wyndham Urban Square which serves as a formal southbound reception of the Aramosa Road and Wyndham Street axis and view corridor. Wyndham Urban Square will also provide a northern open space bookend to the network of open spaces within the downtown. As such, the Urban Square enhances the Baker District's civic address while providing a flexible gathering space for both organized and informal activities. Baker Court, accessed from Baker Street or from the walkway from the Wyndham Urban Square, is an open space with shared and layered uses, including pedestrian linkages, residential lobby frontages, retail spillout areas, and functional vehicular servicing access. As noted earlier, the character of Baker Court is conceived of as similar to the distillery district in Toronto. The library urban square is flanked by active uses, including the library to the south and a large retail suite with patio spillout space on the north on the ground floor of the residential building to the northwest. With seating areas, large planters and an outdoor classroom adjacent to the library, this urban square will have a quiet, peaceful character. 
The Baker District redevelopment includes three new buildings distributed across the site in such a way as to enliven adjacent streetscapes, respect the built form context of their surroundings, contribute to the health and well being of residents and visitors, and promote pedestrian connectivity through the district. Built form transitions are employed in the massing of both the north and the south towers in order to knit the new buildings into their context, which is characterized predominantly by the low and mid-rise historic building stock of downtown Guelph. Both taller buildings employ a podium and tower format, where the podia expand to meet and address the adjacent public rights of way and create meaningful street wall conditions, while the towers above are set back from the street wall and limited in floor plate area to meet the zoning bylaw requirements. The Guelph Public Library occupies the southern end of the site in its own standalone building, flanking Baker Street, Chapel Lane, Park Lane, and visible from St. George's Square. With respect to building entrances, the main residential entrances for both the North and the South Towers flank Baker Court, while additional retail and live work entrances on Baker Street and adjacent to the Wyndham Urban Square. The library main entrance is off of Baker Street with a secondary entrance provided at the corner of Chapel Lane and Park Lane. Parking entrances are provided below the North Tower for the private residential garage with the public parking garage located below the library, accessed from Park Lane via Chapel Lane. Cycling connectivity is supported in the Baker District through flanking on-street shared use bike lanes on Baker Street, Chapel Lane, Park Lane, and Wyndham Street North. Convenient bike bicycle parking is located adjacent to the principal residential and library entrances with further residential bike parking below grade. And the potential for a further east-west off-street bi-directional shared use path is being investigated north of the County of Wellington property to connect Wyndham Street North with Baker Street mid-block. The North Tower includes a two-story podium with retail, live work, and residential uses, with 13 stories of residential uses above. Three stories of townhouses extend north of the North Tower along Baker Street. The South Tower includes a three-story podium with residential, retail, and live work uses, and 12 stories of residential uses above. The library exists at the southern end of the site and is a standalone three-story facility. Building materiality for the new buildings within the Baker District redevelopment is proposed to be distinct between buildings, but to share a number of common characteristics inspired by the way the new architecture might relate to its, her its heritage context. This includes the use of masonry and stone-like materials within both the North and South Tower podiums, as well as the library, inspired by the brick and stone architecture surrounding the site, as well as the brick industrial buildings that once stood on the site as part of the Raymond sewing machine factory. Views through the Baker District redevelopment are encouraged at a number of elevations in order for the redevelopment to fit into and contribute to its surrounding urban context. The protected view corridor to the Basilica of Our Lady Immaculate influences the shape of all buildings within the redevelopment. The redevelopment respects and adheres to the zoning requirements associated with this view corridor. Shadow impacts generated by the Baker District redevelopment have been modeled in accordance with the City of Guelph's Sun and Shadow Study Terms of Reference and are included in the UDMP. As demonstrated by the Shadow Study, the placement, height, and massing of the buildings of the Baker District redevelopment do not cause excessive shadowing on their surrounding neighborhood, including parks, adjacent residential uses, public open spaces, private amenity spaces, and retail streets. Specifically, the two urban squares are provided with a good balance of sun and shade throughout the day, including significant solar access throughout the morning and early afternoon from equinox through the summer months. 
Additionally, there are no known additional areas where the formal shadow impact criteria are applicable that are negatively impacted by shadows generated by the Baker District redevelopment. With respect to the short-term and long-term integration of the two new urban squares with the renewed Wyndham Street North and Baker Street, the squares are designed to blend into the long-term vision of the surrounding streets while having their own unique character. Specifically concerning the Wyndham Urban Square, in the short term, the sidewalk on Wyndham Street will pass uninterrupted along the eastern frontage of the urban square, whereas long term, more opportunity for street tree planting and pedestrian realm improvements along Wyndham Street North will allow the urban square to visually expand to the east. The sustainability plan for the Baker District was created using the One Planet Living framework. We refer to this as the Baker District One Planet Action Plan. One Planet Living is based on the premise that we are consuming resources at an unsustainable rate. In fact, every year in Canada, Canadians consume four times the resources that nature can provide, leaving a deficit for future generations. One Planet Living responds to the environmental and social challenges that confront our communities and cities by providing a framework that acts as a roadmap towards a more equitable, sustainable, and regenerative future. At the Baker District, One Planet Living has been used to ensure its residents, workers, and visitors can live, work, and play within the Earth's resources. The One Planet Action Plan addresses all 10 of the One Planet Living sustainability principles. Outcomes, indicators, and targets have been created for each of these principles, which will help guide decision making now and in the coming years. Although all 10 of the One Planet Living principles are important, some activities consume more resources and therefore have a greater impact on our planet than others. To determine where to focus our efforts, we conducted an ecological footprint for Guelph. This footprint, which measures the overall impact of certain activities on our environment, led to three project themes being identified. These are food, mobility, and carbon. Work is ongoing to reduce the impact associated with these themes. As a result of all the work to date, the Baker District has been endorsed as a One Planet Living community, only the second in Canada to earn this distinction. The project also continues to target zero carbon building standard for both library and residential buildings. Preliminary project statistics for the private developments within the Baker District, along with the scale of the open spaces provided, are included in the UDMP and include an estimate of residential units as well as non-residential floor areas within the North and South Towers. Windmill's goal is to provide 12% of all suites in the project as affordable. The actual final affordable component will be a function of successfully working with various funding programs and advisors to incorporate the affordability component into the development. This would include working with city programs and other housing providers. Upon the completion of this consultation period, we will be finalizing the UDMP to submit for council approval at the end of July. Pending approval, we will begin work on the site plan approval process in the fall of 2021, with the hope to begin construction on the site during the summer of 2022. The Baker District will be a landmark mixed-use precinct, carefully integrated into the downtown context and featuring new prominent urban squares and a new public library. It will be a green and vibrant community based on the One Planet Living framework, with a particular focus on low carbon, incorporating urban agriculture and healthy living, and to providing a sustainable transportation strategy that emphasizes active transportation options, while also providing underground parking to meet the evolving needs of the community today and in the future. 
As a new home for approximately 500 residents, it will become a vibrant node within the downtown and bring new life and vibrancy to the historic centre of the city. Thank you very much.